righty. Oh, jeez, what'd you do, Salsa? All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, so welcome back. Today we're going to the, to the scrapyard here shortly. Right now I'm packing up some Etsy orders. We've got a whole stash over there. And for some reason this weekend, we got a lot of really weird like requests on eBay orders and Etsy orders. This girl is very needy. Very, very needy. So I got her a new leash, as you see. I, I got her a small, and this thing is still too loose on her. It's, it's unbelievable. Or not a leash, a collar. But, all right, you got to get down. All right, so like the first request that I got was somebody asked for me to write their telephone number on the package and write, do not leave at the door. And I don't know many post people, post office people, who would actually call someone. Or like, like maybe they do. Maybe they would call someone. But would you actually call the number if it said "Do not leave at the door"? If you were somebody who worked for the post office, or would you just like leave it at the door or just take it back with you? I just find it really weird that somebody would actually call the number. Got a bunch of orders going out. Uh, finally sold those shampoos as well that I picked up a long time ago. So let's get into it. All right, main to the garage. Uh, Right here is non non ferrous metals that I'm gonna have to take apart a little bit. So out of that bag that I just recently oh now that bag I recently just bought from the thrift store. I don't know why there's that dot there on the screen, but uh there's two clubs in here that are scrap in terms of non ferrous metals, so this is die cast. And I think the other one I think the other one's actually cast aluminum. That's what it looks like to me. It doesn't look like die cast, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, but I gotta take all these clubs. Here are those computer towers I've been saving for a while. Uh, everyone keeps telling me this is a gaming computer, but it looks pretty beat up. It's pretty much, it's, it's shot. So that's probably gonna be scrapped whenever I get to that other yard. But all oh, these are iron. So if you hit the head of these with a magnet, they actually stick, so they are iron. So this will go with my iron pile. So I gotta figure out what I want to do with this. This does have some scraping on the inside, but it looks like it's in good quality. It's good shape. I don't know. Are these supposed to have a lid, maybe? Possibly a lid, so I'll put this over there. Uh, I was going to keep these for the flea market because I figured somebody would want them, but I'm not really familiar with doors and windows if they are very universal. I feel like they're not. I feel like I don't think they might be, but you know, these look like odd shapes. The only problem that I have with them is a lot of them are bent, and a lot of the screen is torn. So it's like you have to replace the screen anyway. And if they're bent, I think they're pretty much gone. But that was one thing I was going to try for the, the flea market experiment, see if that stuff sells. The nice thing about the flea market is you can always experiment. You know, it's worth it to try different things. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to I'm going to take those aluminum screens. Maybe I'll take that wire. That'll be my non first for today to kind of boost up the money because I think I'm only going to have like 15, 20 bucks in iron. All right. Well, first stop was the post office. Got two packages here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that doesn't have a name. Oh, it does have a name. Polini. I don't know if this is Anthony. I think Anthony has that same last name. In Michigan. I got... This ain't working out so well. We have a package here which looks international. Panama. It's my first package, I believe, from Panama. Panama. Doesn't Van Halen sing a song about Panama? Panama. It's Panama City, though. I'm excited. Panama. I don't see a name on it, though, but whoever sent that package, thank you. And to the package from Michigan, thank you as well. I will be doing a mail time video this week. It's my intentions, because I know it's kind of slower in content field right now, so... We'll do a mail time video this week, uh, probably towards the end of the week, but off to the scrapyard. Now we're going to the scrapyard. Finally dropped off all those packages. Well, look out. 
All right, here's scrap metal truck heading out. So the interesting about the scrap metal is they all don't go to the same place. So what I mean by that is iron, I think, goes to Newark. Aluminum and copper might go up to Scranton. Something gets ran down to Redding. Stainless steel, maybe. So they all go different places. Uh, this yard also doesn't really, like, they just buy the metal and then they separate it, but they don't process it. So they don't knock it all down and shred it. and They pretty much just buy it. That pile over there is still extremely large. They got dumpsters out here. I wonder why they would have dumpsters. All sorts of treasures over there. All sorts of treasures in the world. This always bothers me now. Let's crack. Be all right. We'll get it fixed eventually. Also the fact that my license plate lights constantly out is also something that bothers me. Here we go. I don't expect much from that, maybe five or six bucks. Let's be honest. Be honest, I don't even know if this is clean aluminum because this sometimes is not actually aluminum screen, it's vinyl screen. It's like a vinyl mesh. But sometimes it's aluminum. That just adds black. Like the older ones are gray, so they're very easy to tell, but the newer stuff, they can trick you. I forgot to take out I forgot to take out that pot, but We'll get to that later. That's all the metal over there. We got all sorts of stuff. Lights, small generators, small engines. I think that's the irony aluminum pile. All right, let's grab this and bring this in. All right, here we go. On to the big scale. Looks like they're working on machinery here. So they were closed during that polar vortex because for diesel vehicles that need to be plugged in and all that fun stuff and sometimes you don't start up. There's a whole thing with diesel vehicles. I feel like every time I come here it's always 5800. <laughs> I don't know why I always feel like that's always what it is. But yep. Drop it off the middle into the big pile. There's like no space. I'm not trying to park in that glass. I also like to creep a little and see what they have. So they do have a computer tower down there. Oh, I just ran over something. That probably isn't good. All right, here we go. The old pile, I just threw all this stuff here. He deducted me 10 things, 10 pounds for wood. I don't know what's wood here, unless that's wood. I think probably weighs 80 pounds. That's the thing that I grabbed yesterday in the trash. I was like, I don't know if I want to grab it because I'll probably deduct me. I think that's what he's deducted me for. I don't know. The pile was getting larger and larger. This guy just dropped off Marnin Company. So that's a guitar company around here. This guy just dropped off this awesome looking scale. Check this out. Look at that, two scales, Charlton. Is that what it is, Charlton? Two scales, interesting. And much of these, I don't know what those things are. Those scales might be worth some money though. Just getting scrapped. They're probably, they're probably out of weight or whatever, out of whatever it might be. Out of alignment. This is 
so this whole rounding thing really screws me up so the amount of money i should have got paid was about 30 dollars and i think 42 cents if my math's correct or yeah three dollars and 42 cents so this is what my grand total was and i got paid 30 bucks because it rounded down but if i would have cashed out separately um, i would have got 21 dollars for the light iron and i would have got 10 bucks for the non-ferrous because those uh, non-ferrous amounts uh, would have rounded me up and the light iron would have also rounded me up but since you add in all the cents and stuff it actually rounds me down kind of weird how that works um so I should have got paid thirty dollars and forty two cents instead I got paid thirty bucks um, and if I would have done it separately I would have got uh thirty one dollars so I'm not really worried over a dollar it's kind of a a weird system how it works but i guess it all balance it all balances itself out in the end this place is like salsa heaven yeah it's fine all right, good, still on sale. That's what she gets. That stuff down there. These rawhide, beef hide. I don't know what the difference is between beef hide and rawhide, but I assume they're probably equally as bad. Like, so at my local grocery store, these are five bucks. They're 4 dollars they're seven ninety nine dollars here. So I'm gonna just grab them there. A couple people left uh, super chat donations for treats for salsa so I'm gonna grab some tomorrow for her at the supermarket rather than buy it from Petco because Petco is just a gajillion dollars for anything uh, fortunately my dog food's on sale it's been on sale for like the last six or seven months so it's like something like a manufacturer kind of reward thing it's 53 bucks for 24 pounds so that's what we're going to grab all right made it back uh kind of in the warehouse right now it's actually pretty warm out unfortunately it's not warm in here generally in the in the summer uh it gets kind of hot in here because all the air is kind of you know comes through and in, in through the windows the, the sun and all the air in here just stays hot because there's nowhere to go but today it's kind of the polar opposite kind of like my house my house is like on a one day delay so it could be cold out but if it's been sunny and warm the past couple days it'll be warm inside and then the vice versa, if it's, you know, sunny out or warm like today, but it's been cold out recently, it'll just stay cold. But uh, currently putting some stuff away, kind of stacking things up. It's uh, it's definitely been an adventure in here. There's just so much stuff. And hopefully this year I'll catch up. I know last year I had probably about three weeks more of inventory without having to buy any more uh, of stuff. And I never got around to going to the flea market for those past three weeks. So that's why it's kind of, you know, delayed in here is because I have another month of inventory that I never got out last week or last time. So that's why there's so much stuff in here is because, you know, last year I didn't really get out as much as I wanted to. But putting up some license plates, here's all those beer cans. I might put them in flats and try to sell them at the flea market. I think that's my idea you have the box still that i picked up last week but i'm going to try hang up some license plates i guess that's what we'll do right now uh but i got two four five so i got five more plates to put up right here on this uh column so i'm going to do that right now uh we got colorado indiana wyoming wisconsin and pennsylvania going up today uh, i try to get in here when i can Realistically, I hope I can get the flea market and really clean out this this place. Uh, you know, really get rid of a lot of this inventory, and that way I can kind of move around and really organize this a little bit better. It's right now it's not organized the best way it can, but given you know, obviously the circumstances of it being 20 degrees out, you know, 80 percent of the, the winter, it's kind of hard to kind of get up here and be motivated to kind of move around stuff when you can't feel your face. So uh, let's uh. 30s up there should be fun the big kicker here is i don't want colors to match so i don't want to put a uh don't want to put a dark color so i think i have a blue michigan right there so i have a blue pennsylvania in this lot i don't want the pennsylvania to be next 
So we have a white and green. I have a Colorado over there, but this is a different Colorado. So the Colorados will be on the same plane. I don't like that. I'm gonna go with the white and red that we had here. So I'm gonna put this one up. See, one of the bad problems doing this license plate wall is that license plates generally are flat and some of these are bent in some sort of way. I kind of try, I try to bend them back so that they're, they're flat as they can, they can be. Uh, but if they aren't completely flat, they create an illusion that one side is higher and one side is lower, uh, and it's not even, even though they are. And that's just because of, you know, the illusion of the plate not being completely flat against the wall. So, try to flatten them out the best I can. And the reason why I'm not using Wyoming here is because it's too close to Illinois in terms of the whites and blues. Since Colorado is white and green, there's no white or green around that. The next white and green is all the way up there. All right, so that looks pretty good. I got those up there. So that whole column is now complete over there. Uh, now I got to move the ladder over again. Uh, one thing I didn't do right is I didn't count, like, the amount. So somebody who might, you know, kind of have OCD about it might think this is going to be an odd number all the way to the corner over there. And in terms of columns, like, there might be nine columns rather than ten. Then there's really no center, and then it's off-center. But, I mean, I'm just throwing them up there. You know, if you actually sat here and drew out every single thing and how many fit in there, then you don't know me well. I mean, I just, I'm a go-getter. I kind of just do it as I go along and see what happens. You know, if you want to be professional about it, be my guest. Nothing in my life is done towards perfection. Now, which is nice. Everything's original in its own way, but it's going to kind of wrap it up here. I was thinking about adding up another row, but I'm going to try to seize the opportunity of this warm weather and get some, some work done. You know, pick up branches and stuff like that outside and, and all of the other yard chores that might not be done for the next two months but uh hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video it's been a fun one it's been fun catching up with you guys adding another row went to the scrap yard all sorts of fun stuff happened so uh catch you guys tomorrow hopefully you guys have enjoyed this smash that like button until next time have a great day keep living the dream peace